In this video, we're going to use the parametric tree we made in the last session to make a linear array of trees um, with a gradient of size and color. So let's open up the parametric tree from the last session. We're going to copy the cluster and put it into a new Grasshopper document. Now, we're going to use this cluster to create a linear array of trees. So I'm going to start by adding a linear array. I'm going to double click on the canvas and type in as the search parameter linear array and place a linear array component. My input geometry is going to be the trunk for one linear array and the canopy for another. I'm going to do them separately so that I can use the custom preview to color the trunks and canopy separately. So I'm going to go ahead and place two linear arrays. I'm going to copy and paste the component. I'm going to plug the trunk into one and the canopy into the other. You can see I have an array with the uh, default values. Um, direction is going to be 10 on the x vector. And the count is going to be 10 by default. I'm going to go ahead and hide the custom previews from the last component. And I'm also going to hide the wires going into geometry. I'm going to right click on geometry, wire display, hidden on both components. I know what the input is here, so this will help me keep this a little bit cleaner. Now, I'm going to set up the parameters I want. I'm going to set up a number slider for my count. And right click on uh, double click on the left side. I'm going to call this count. I'm going to make it an integer. And I'll set the range to 36 and the initial value to let's say 12. I'm going to plug this in as the count for both of my arrays. You can see I have uh, now a slider that controls how many trees are in my array. I want to also control the distance. I'm going to put this on to the Y vector so that it shows up nicely in right view. So I need for direction, I can't just plug a slider in. I need to have a vector. So I'm going to type in unit Y, place a unit Y vector here. I'm going to plug that into direction and I'm going to copy that and plug another unit Y into the direction for my linear array. It has a default factor of only one, so I need to put another number slider. I'm going to plug this one in, and I'll rename this spacing. I'm going to increase the spacing to maybe 16. So now I can control independently the count and the spacing. This is the basic part of my linear array. So I'm going to go ahead and group this. And 
and I'll right click to name the group. Give it a title. After creating the linear array of trees, I would like to scale the size and then create a gradient of color. So I'm going to add a scale command. Double click in the canvas, type in scale to find the scale command. The geometry is going to be my linear array. And I need to have a factor and optionally a center. I'm going to go ahead and hide the arrays. So let's start by working on the scale factor. Right now it's a constant value of 0.5 by default. I'm going to create a range so that the size increases or decreases with the distance. So I'll type in range. And plug this into the factor. By default, I'm getting an error because the first uh, first value is from 0 to 1, and we can't uh, scale by 0. We also have 10 steps. It's the wrong number of steps. I need to make the steps based on my spacing. Uh, sorry, my count. I'm going to plug count into steps, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this wire. My domain is from 0 to 1. If I want to expose the parameters for this, I'm going to go ahead and construct the domain. Construct domain. I'll plug this in, and now I'll add a number slider, or two. The most important one is my domain start, and now my component for scale is OK. So I'm going to name this component start. I'm going to keep it floating point. I'll make it just one value. I'm going to start it at, say, 0.3. My end value, I'll make one, and we could vary it as we like. Now you'll notice that we have a problem. We have an extra tree at the end of our array. That's because we have 12 steps and we need to only have 11. So I'm going to right click on steps, go to expression, and enter x minus 1. So x is going to be the 12, the count of 12 coming in, and then make 11 steps, which will lead us to a total of 12 scale geometries. You'll notice that our center of scaling is the origin, 0, 0, 0. So the spacing between the trees is also being scaled. That's fine for now. Let's go ahead and group these and copy this. And plug this into the trunks as well, so we can see our trunk scale. Now, if we want to keep the spacing equal, what we need to do is add a center of scaling that's at the base of each of the trees in the linear array. We can do this by constructing a point that we array. So I'm going to add a construct point command to the array trees. I'm going to add another linear array. Make sure I add these to the group. And the input Geometry will be the point. The direction will be the same as this unit y vector. And I'm going to plug these 12 points and the count 
would be the same. Twelve. I'm going to plug this array of points in as my center of scaling. Into both of the scale commands. And I'm going to hide the wires for it. Keep this a little more neat. So now we're scaling the trees from each of their center points and keeping an equal spacing while scaling the size of the trees. Depends on your intention, which you would rather have the size scaling with the trees or staying independent. Next, let's um let's label this. So scale trunks and scale canopy. Our next step will be to make a gradient of color um, for the canopy. So I'm going to go ahead and preview the trunks with a nice brown color. So I'm going to add a custom preview. I'm going to plug in the trunks. And I'm going to hide the, uh, the scaled trunks. Now I need to add a nice material. So I'm going to double click and type in color with a U in the English spelling for a color swatch. I'm going to plug this in as my material and I'll double click on the color to assign a nice brown. Make it a, a ready brown and accept. So I've got my trunks previewed nicely. And I'm going to now set up color swatches, three different color swatches for my gradient of color on the canopy. I'll double click color swatch. And I'll make the first one a nice dark green. tinge of blue in it. And a nice evergreen. I'm going to make the second one an orange, suggesting fall color. And I'm going to make the final one a ready brown. Or a, maybe a dry, dry late fall color. I'm going to add in a, um, a color parameter. just so we can um, clearly see this as a color. I'm going to drag the first one in. I'm going to shift, click, and drag the second one, and shift, click, and drag the third color into this. Now, we're going to use interpolate data to interpolate between these colors along our array of trees. I'm going to double click and add interpolate data. Our data is going to be the colors plug color into data. Now we need parameters. Our parameters are going to be a range. So I'll double click and add a range. A range will use the default domain from 0 to 1. I'll go ahead and plug this in. Our domain is going to be from 0 to 1, but we need the right number of steps. So once again, I'm going to plug 
our count in as our number of steps. And I'll hide the wire. Right click on steps, wire display hidden. And now I just need to add a custom preview to see the result. Custom preview, plug value into material, and connect geometry to the scaled trees. I'm now going to hide the scale and we'll see our nice color gradient. we want to reverse the range of values, we can here on interpolate, right click on value, reverse, and we can flip the range of colors. Final step is to group these, and group these, and um, right click on each group to assign a label give it a good title. So I'll call this um, color gradient. For trunks, color gradient for canopy. And that wraps up our tutorial for a linear array of trees uh, with a gradient of color and size.